This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello and welcome to your CBSLA.com News Brief. I'm Pat Harvey. Fallen LAPD officer Chris Cortijo was remembered at a viewing service at Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills Monday night. The 26-year veteran died after he was hit by a suspected drug driver. Officer Cortijo will be laid to rest tomorrow. Students at North High School in Torrance are mourning the deaths of two popular classmates. Jessica Lefeu and Danielle Murillo were killed in a crash in Santa Barbara. The students were just two weeks from graduation. And controversy at a Northridge Public Elementary School after a teacher posted a message on the marquee that said, read, rest, go to church, he has risen. The principal says the teacher put it up without permission. The sign has been taken down. And the city of Signal Hill is turning 90 years old. 11,000 people live in the small city near Long Beach. Its name came from early Spanish settlers who used the hill as a signal point. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of day, stay with CBSLA.com. Now here's Jackie Johnson with a check of our weather. Jackie. Thank you very much, Pat. We've got an area of low pressure and a cold front moving through the area, and that's going to bring us some clouds and some gusty winds tonight through Tuesday morning. And along with that, some cooler temperatures, 60s and 70s for highs for your Tuesday. Warmer with sunny skies Wednesday into Thursday, and then another area of low pressure moves in come the end of the week. Now here's Gary Miller with sports. Jackie, thanks. After they give up seven unanswered goals to the Sharks last night in San Jose, the Kings find themselves back here in L.A. in an 0-2 hole, preparing for the Game 3 tomorrow in Staples. We're just trying to win a game uh, tomorrow. So we could be up 2-0, down 2-0, doesn't matter. We're trying to win a game. We're, it doesn't change our plan for tomorrow, what we want to do and how we want to approach the game. Except that if you lose, you're down 0-3. Ducks lost tonight in Dallas. They lost 3-0, but at least they lead their series 2-1. Remember, you can always find the latest scores here on CBSLA.com. Pat, back to you. All right, thank you, Gary. And that's your CBSLA.com news brief. Remember, we're always on. Just click Listen Live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere you are.